myself. I want those flowers to be absolutely perfect for Prince Charles. Sorry, miss. Does anyone have any news of the prince? Oh, I hope he comes. Uh, no, just your tea, miss. I don't want tea. All I want is to know where the prince is today. I thought we told you this morning, Miss Isabel. The prince is busy with his father, the king. It could take all day. Why don't you have some tea to calm your nerves? I'm perfectly calm. What I want is for one of you to go to the prince and tell him to come visit me. But, Miss Isabel, we can only take orders from my mistress. Oh! It's scalding! Oh! Let me oh. help you! No, it hurts! Oh, oh. Truly romantic life, huh? Why wouldn't I be able to, Jean? Say you fell in love with a boy, but you were forbidden to see him. What would you do? Oh, let's see. I I would write him letters every day and send them by secret messenger. And I would put a red rose in the envelope to remind him of my perfume. Oh, Catherine, what a splendid idea! That really is romantic. I'm going to do exactly that. Before you write a love letter, shouldn't you know who's going to receive it? As usual, we have to explain the simplest things to you. Who else but he would be worthy? By he, you mean the prince? I wasn't sure you were still interested. I'll be interested until the day he proposes. He's the only one for me, and I've decided I'm going to let him know how I feel. <laughs> Too late. Don't tell me all of those letters are for Prince Charles. Mm, of course they are. Cinderella, I want you to make sure they get to the castle messenger today. I will, okay? Catherine, how dare you! Writing to the prince behind my back. Cinderella, I want you to go into town to buy me the prettiest stationery you can find. And no dilly-dallying for once. Right away. I just need some money. If I want to speak with Charles today, I have to corner him myself. And then the dog started barking and he turned away and ran. Oh. Oh, Charles, it's you. Oh, not now. I'm not in the mood for Isabel's silly chatter. You take care of her, Alex. Uh, Charles, wait, no! Alex, Alex, you can't let him leave. I must speak to him. Huh? Do what I say, or I'll tell everyone that you lend Charles your clothes so he can sneak off the castle grounds. Uh, 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 you know? Of course I do. Now go get him now. Mm, right. Uh, uh, Prince Charles, wait! Charles, wait! <laughs> wait there! I'm coming. You need to work on that landing, Alex. Charles, you could have waited for me. <laughs> I don't like waiting. <laughs> oh, no. Don't go. Charles! Why doesn't he want to speak with me? Doesn't he know how I love him? I must get him to pay attention to me. He wants to run away? Well, two can play that game. I'll force him to come looking for me. Isabel! Isabel, why don't you answer me? Isabel! This is no time for silly games! Isabel! Where are you? Sir. Yes? Miss, um... Miss Isabel departed over an hour ago, but she did leave this letter behind. Well, let me see it. Isabel, why have you run away? Why? <laughs> Lovely creatures. <laughs> I bring terrible news, your majesties. Huh? What is it, Zerro? Tell us. Is it Charles? Has something happened to our son? No, it isn't Charles. It's my daughter. She's... Something's happened to Isabel. Uh, read this. She left this letter for the prince before she ran away from home. My dear, my darling Prince Charles, my heart overflows with love for you. If you could only imagine how much your actions cause my heart to ache, Perhaps you would find it in your heart to feel the same as I do. Then my tears would end. But I must leave. 
and try to find the peace that used to rule my days. Do not look for me, Charles. Goodbye. Well, Charles, what do you have to say? Huh? Uh, think, Charles. You must have said something to upset her and make her leave. No, Mother, I didn't even talk to her today. Oh, my dearest Isabel, where have you gone? If anything happens to you, I couldn't bear it. My sweet Isabel, she can't fend for herself. She knows nothing of this world. Don't worry, Zaral. I've already sent my guards to search all around your estate. We'll do everything we can to find your daughter. As the future princess, she's entitled to all the help I can offer. Your Majesty is most generous. Please excuse me. Charles, what are you waiting for? It's your duty to go after Isabel. Uh, all right. Oh, this bag is heavy. Oh, if only I'd known, I would have brought one of the maids to carry it for me. Oof. Everyone at the castle must be looking for me. <laughs> I'll go to Father's Villa at the lake. Oh, I'm sure Charles misses me. No wonder my stomach's grumbling. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. Ah! Oh, an apple. I'll tell my father to send you the money tomorrow. I'm Isabel, the Duke's daughter. As soon as I speak to him, I'll tell my father how much he owes you. But, miss, I can't. Believe me, it's nothing for him. All done, at last. I know you've been waiting a long time. We'd better hurry home and fix some supper. Mm -hmm. Help! Help! Stop him! Stop that thing! Oh. Help! Someone stop him! He's taken my bag! Oh! What will I do? That boy has stolen my travel bag and now I have nothing left in this world! Don't you worry. Pat, follow his trail. Oh. Come along, miss. We'll follow them. Quickly! Isabel! Isabel! Oh, I can't go into the village dressed like the prince. I'd be too noticeable. <laughs> I'll just borrow these clothes for a short while. I'll bring them back soon. <laughs> value in it. Now, do you think you could do me a favor? Of course. Find a carriage to take me to my villa by the lake? I'm afraid there aren't any carriages in this area. Besides, it's much too late. But I'm exhausted. I need a carriage. I understand, but... Do you ladies need assistance? Oh, yes, sir. This young lady's had her bag stolen. <gasps> <laughs> That's too bad. But in this neighborhood, it's to be expected. You should be more careful. I'd say you were lucky, actually. The thief could have come after more than that. <gasps> no! Quiet! Let her go! Stop oh, it! Help! Help! Get out of here, flea bag! No! Help! Let me go! No! Help! Stop it! Let go! The only place you could be is the villa at the lake. Please, let us go. Help! Ow! Oh. Ow, oh, you big oaf! Just sit there and be quiet or you're both gonna regret it. Who's there? Hmm? He's playing with my jewelry. That boy's a thief! That's the girl I took the bag from, Papa. Why'd you bring her here? What's that you say, my boy? You're the one who stole her travel bag? Yeah, look at this. Huh? Look what she has in here. Excellent work, son. These jewels will bring us a small fortune. If it's the jewels you want, fine, but let us go. Come on, let's run. Right. Uh. <gasps> ah! You don't actually think I'd let you escape so easily, do you? My father is a very important man in this kingdom, but obviously you have no idea who you've kidnapped. Mm -hmm. I am Isabel.
Isabel, daughter of the Duke, and what's more, you should know that I am Prince Charles, soon to be fiance and the future queen of this kingdom. <gasps> Holding me here is going to warrant you serious punishment. <laughs> That's a good one. We've got a real live princess in our house. So don't just sit there, my boy. Give the lovely princess her scepter and crown. You're right, Papa. Huh? <laughs> oh, there. Now you can be the princess of our castle. Now, Your Highness, kindly scrub these floors until they shine like new. That is completely out of the question. I do not do manual labor. Hm. This is my castle, remember? You'll do as I say or else. Hmm? You there, get in the kitchen and prepare something hot for our supper. Yes, sir, right away. You're sir. not actually obeying him. Of course I will, and so will you. Oh! oh, Isabel, where are you, Isabel? Where? Is there some other place she may have gone to? No, she's never been anywhere else. Finding her here was my only hope. If only Prince Charles had proposed, none of this would have happened. My poor little girl. Isabel! Isabel! Patch, what are you doing here? This... This is Isabel's favorite hat. I have a feeling you know what happened to her. Lead the way. In case you are thinking of trying to run away, I should warn you, I throw knives just as well as my father. Oh, I'm sure you do. But I have no intention of running away. I'm going to fix supper. You don't look like a cook. I'll believe it when I see it. You know, I put my heart into everything I do. I'm going to make you a delicious meal. I promise you're going to love it. You sound like my mother. Where is your mother tonight? In heaven. Oh. She passed away a few years ago. Oh, I'm very sorry. I know what you're doing. You're trying to soften me up so you can escape from us. It never even crossed my mind. It's just that I lost my mother when I was about your age, and it's still sad. I think I understand exactly how you must feel sometimes. Oh. Ah! Be careful. You're catching your skirt on everything. Oh! You're doing it on purpose. Stop it right now, or I'll have to tie you up and put you in a corner. Oh! oh! I can't believe it. You can't do anything in the house. What a klutz! Don't they teach them anything in a castle these days? Calm down. I'll clean everything up. I'm sure she's just scared. Ah, fine. But do it fast! How can you bring yourself to do these nasty chores for them? I do all the cooking and cleaning at home. I'm used to it. It's really not that hard, you know. And there's nothing like knowing you've prepared something delicious. Really? Is what you said earlier really true? What? That you were going to marry the prince? Oh, that... Actually, it's not true. It isn't? You were very convincing, Isabel. And I really envy you. Really? What on earth for? Because every girl in the kingdom dreams of meeting Prince Charles. And being Duke Zarel's daughter, you must be able to see the prince whenever you want. If only that were true. I'm in love with him, but he hardly knows I exist. He even runs away from me. As hard as it is to admit, I have to accept the truth. Prince Charles doesn't love me. No, Isabel, it can't be true. It's going to work out. Don't give up. Sooner or later, you'll win him over. But... Be patient and keep showing him you're interested. He'll understand some. You're so sweet. Especially because I know you've probably dreamt of marrying him, too. But you're encouraging me. Now that I think of it, I still don't even know your name. Papa, do you think what that girl said about being a princess is true? If it is, we'll be able to get a big ransom for her. But we have to be smart. Hmm. We'll get as much as we can for a safe return, and then we'll leave this village for good. We'll settle down someplace nice and enjoy our fortune. 
Come and get it. Supper is served. It's about time. I'm starving. Stew. Mm, smells good. I hope for your sake mm. it tastes good, too. Ah. Taste it, Papa. It's delicious. Mm, not so fast, son. You don't have to worry about running out. I made plenty for everyone. You know, you really do remind me a lot of my mother, Cinderella. Thank you. That's sweet. <laughs> Hey, Princess, come and eat with us. We'd love to hear more about you. And anyway, it's a nice change to have company for supper. <laughs> I would never lower myself to eat with you people. Hm. You'll have to eat something sooner or later. Don't they eat stew at the castle? Just you wait. Any minute now, the prince is going to barge through that door and deliver me from you ruffians. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Isabel, you should try to eat something. You'll need your strength to get you through this. Thank you. But I... I don't want any. Leave her alone. If what she says is true, the prince will be here to pay her ransom and she'll be free to go. She can eat at the castle. No! Oh. Ah, Papa! What is it, son? Come here! It must be Prince Charles. What? Isabel! Is anybody home? Uh, uh, uh. Huh? It's Patch. I knew he'd come. Patch! Patch! Help! Prince Charles! Help me! Please Quiet. save me! Don't let them take me away! Patch! Charles, help! They've captured Isabel and Cinderella. Ah! Papa! Oh, he's gaining on us! What's he look like? It's hard to tell, but he looks young and he's wearing a funny hat! Yes, it must be Prince Charles! He used my hat to find my trail and rescue me! I told you he would come! Charles, I'm right be here! Be quiet! I can't concentrate! Charles, help! Help! He does care for me! Oh. It's Charles! Won't be bothering you ladies anymore. Yay, thank you. I'm very disappointed. My plan was for Prince Charles to bring me home and declare his undying devotion. Now I have to ride home with this peasant. You shouldn't think like that, Isabel. Charles showed a great deal of courage by saving us from those two. True courage is worth a lot more than any royal title. You should be thankful. We're very lucky anyone found us at all. Hmm. <sighs> You're a true prince to me, Charles. I'm really glad we're friends. <laughs> Thank you. It means a lot to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we've got a good supper tonight, eh, son? More than that, Papa, I really think we did meet a princess tonight, and her name is Cinderella, and I'll never forget her. Or her stew. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot of explaining to do, Cinderella. I'm very sorry. You were gone all night, Cinderella. I hope you didn't forget to buy my stationery. No, I... I did go to the stationery store, and I brought your things, but... But nothing! Give them to me! I'd like to, but... Quickly, Patch. Take this basket to Cinderella. No! I can't trust you to do anything right! Oh! Why didn't you say you had them? I've waited enough! I'm sorry, I just forgot. I'm very tired. I want my breakfast right away. I can't write on an all empty right, stomach. Not on my new paper, you won't. But I'm all out. You have How in the world did I end up I with a basket not. full of paper? I definitely remember dropping it last night. 